Okay. So once again, thank you to Mix Mandapat, and we'll be having the next session. So each conference participant is focused on pursuing a specific field in college. With this in mind, our speaker will represent a field and discuss their personal experience with their major major in the country that they study in, allowing everyone the opportunity to listen to the stories about certain majors and how these experiences can shape their future career prospects. So our speaker for this session is Mix Trista Lee, who is a rising sophomore pursuing a Bachelor of Arts at the University of British Columbia, intending to specialize in international relations and minor in economics. Her interest in such fields have driven her to engage in nonprofit organizations and volunteer works, and for the past four years have enabled her to hone and develop skills in external relations, marketing, and creative work. In high school, she served as an active member of her strand-based organization and the Fair Sponsorship Committee, as well as the Sponsorship Head of the Variety Show Committee. At present, she continues to immerse herself in the community at UBC. With that, let us welcome our next speaker, Mix Trista Lee. Hold on. Uh, in a while, Mix Trista Lee will be joining us as a panelist. There you go. Hi, Mix D, are you there? Hi, hold on. There, I can see you. Did you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. So thank you to the team behind Camp Philippines for inviting me here today and for that introduction. And to those of you who are here, thank you for joining in. To reintroduce myself, hi everyone, I'm Trista, an incoming second year student at the University of British Columbia pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and minor in Economics. And in high school, I pursued the Accountancy, Business and Management track, which prompts me to um, highlight my interest in business, marketing and economics. And today I'll be talking more about what UBC has to offer and mainly about my personal experience and deciding on and studying in the field of my choice. So before I begin, I'd like to ask each and every one of you to ponder on the thought or question rather of where do you see yourself in five years? Because for 13 year old Trista, this was all still a blur. So I was very much confused, intimidated and pressured by what awaits. So not to mention the whole college process when I turned 16 in senior high school. I can tell you I was all over the place, and it definitely was not an easy ride. But as time passed, I began to gain sight and direction of what I wanted to pursue. So growing up in a business-oriented family, I was very much interested in the field, more so in gaining a better understanding of the business practices an entity undertakes and the economic principles that drive market behavior and influence decision making. But I didn't stop there because with a family of corporate and CPA lawyers, the courtroom as a stage in itself was one that I found fascinating. So exploring the field of law was in no doubt part of my plan at university. And as I always say, university life is full of expanding opportunities. So this was one thought and one core that I had in mind as I went through my first year of university. So with this, 15-year-old Trista had more clarity realizing that maybe her interests in business and law could intersect, hence really work towards aiming for a career that leveraged both fields. So her sense of direction grew stronger. So now that I knew a glimpse of what I wanted to study, I started considering the logistical aspects. So noting my options of staying or studying abroad, which universities to apply to. And the most important agenda for me was selecting which major I would like to pursue for the next four years. So fast forward to three years later, I am here pursuing my education at the University of British Columbia. The journey was fulfilling, especially when I gained sight and started to reflect on how it has made my freshman year and hopefully the years to come worthwhile. So UBC is among the top 40 universities across the globe renowned for being a global hub for learning, teaching, and research. So its resources of an esteemed faculty, valuable networking, and research opportunities are what I find value in as it continues to enrich my experience. 
So UBC has a total of 43 undergraduate degrees across its two campuses, the Vancouver and Okanagan, and over 250 programs to choose from. And for me, I was very much drawn to UBC's Bachelor of Arts and both its international relations and economics programs. So one of the key reasons I took into account when thinking of where to pursue my education was not only how I would be able to adapt to the environment, but how the university and its resources would help me in terms of accomplishing my goals and what I would like to get out of my whole experience. I was also looking at the availability of undergraduate degrees, as well as the variety of faculties and schools offered, because I really wanted to explore diverse fields and stay engaged in learning in what I love most. So apart from that, I also liked how UBC's International Relations Program offers a more diverse perspective and not just focuses on a specific area, such as Southeast Asia or Asia, which is the case for schools here in the Philippines, where they have a tendency of explaining things in a more localized view. So apart from that, I really valued UBC's strong global network as it really opens doors to better connections and opportunities in terms of access of potential internships with international and global conferences and institutions. So in the Bachelor of Arts degree, UBC gives students full, full control of their academic journey by allowing them to select one of three options for their first year of study, which is the Arts One, Coordinated Arts Program known as CAP or the Custom Timetable. So art, Arts One mimics the setup of a small classroom setting, learning from just five instructors from a variety of disciplines. The Coordinated Arts Program involves a cohort-based learning, selecting one of five streams available and lastly, the custom timetable is where you have the creative freedom to take on a personalized set of courses. So as my interest lies in international economics and business, as well as policy making, I personally selected a custom timetable and explored a variety of disciplines, registering for courses such as economics, math, history, linguistics, and political science, to name a few. So this setup really prepared me into getting a head start to completing the necessary credits for when I add a major and a minor in international relations and e economics respectively before the start of my junior year. So a little bit more about the economics and international relations program at UBC. So the minor in economics is controlled by the Vancouver School of Economics, and it's a highly regarded research institution and one that is consistently ranked among the top economic schools in Canada. So a minor in economics will expose you to various fields of international trade, finance development, as well as resource and health economics, to name a few, which I particularly am interested in. And as a prospective international relations major, I am set to gain a deeper understanding of various areas such as international diplomacy, security studies, global governance, economic development, and much more. So it very much draws on diverse disciplines that enable you to focus on one of three streams or take a variety of courses that are a mix of the three. So usually students at both programs learn from a faculty of diverse award-winning instructors and researchers whose passion for teaching and really drive for continuous learning open doors for students to engage in opportunities for professional and developmental growth, which I really valued as a student who was completely lost in my first year. So what I like about UBC Bachelor of Arts is that students are motivated to pursue their own interests and given the opportunity for a year of exploration in their first year, as they personalize their own program and timetable, explore multiple academic fields aligned with personal, professional, and educational goals. So this is a really great opportunity for students fresh out of high school who are still conflicted with what courses to take and specializations to declare to really test the waters, explore a variety of options so that in your junior year, you can select a major that best captures your interests. And as early as second year, UBC students are able to diversify their studies through Go Global. It's an exchange program that allows students to immerse themselves in different settings through a term or two at one of UBC's 200 plus university exchange partners. This promotes meaningful engagement and global awareness, which is counted towards your degree requirements as well. 
But apart from this, UBC prides itself on experiential learning as students engage and apply their classroom learnings to the real world. So they gain 12 months of professional paid work experience and expand their network while completing their degrees at UBC through the Arts Co-op. It's a program that enables students to immerse themselves in public, private, and nonprofit sectors. So with all that, one advice I like giving to others is that there's not a one-size-fits-all approach to everything. With application season on the rise, maybe peers interested in your pursuits for the next few years, family asking about your plans, you definitely will feel the pressure getting to you, but it's all completely normal. So at university, may make use of peer academic support or academic advising services, which is also um, offered at UBC. will help in providing information on academic requirements and resources, as well as assist you in every step of the way as you navigate your degree program. But in the end, it's really important to just have fun in the chapter that you are to write for yourself and value, um, value and take in the experience and memories that you make along the way. Because first year, or maybe in the next few years at university, it will go by really quick. So this marks the end of my talk. I hope to be able to give you a glimpse into some of the opportunities that await at UBC and how studying there like is. I hope I was able to motivate some of you going through the whole college admission process. But always remember that whether you're contemplating on studying abroad or looking for a university here in the Philippines, that that will inspire you to pursue your interest. Always remember that every journey brims with potential. So thank you for your time and have a nice day. I'm good to answer some questions. Thank you, Mixed D. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please send them in the QA, Q&A feature. So we have the first question here. Uh, what made you interested in pursuing IR? Yeah, so I was very much interested in both business and law, and I really wanted to find a program that intersects the two together. And I feel like international relations was a really great way for me to do that because it touches upon topics that span from political science, economics, and really law in general. And I think it's also inter interdisciplinary in a way where you have the creative freedom to choose the courses that you wanna take. And it allows you to find your niche by really choosing courses that highlight a specific field, or if you want to go explore your other interests, then you're free to do so as well. Okay, thank you. For your next question, how did you align your credentials like sponsorships and events planning with your intended major, which is IR? I feel like it's not mainly about the credentials, but more, more so the qualities and the skills that you get along the way. Being in sponsorships and events planning has really taught me to properly engage in leaderships and try finding a community at UBC where I feel most comfortable at, which really enables me to um, perform with my potential. And I think it's a great way as well for economics as I plan on minoring in economics to really um, connect the two together in terms of the business aspect and in terms of networking with other people. Thank you. Next question is, any advice for students who are interested in pursuing finance or econ abroad, but are uncertain how to choose the right destination or program? I feel like finance and economics are really competitive programs and it's really good as well for the job market as they are trying to get students are very diversified in such courses and in such programs. I think choosing the right destination or program really entails knowing what resources are available to you and how you could contribute to the community and at the same time use those resources comfortably. And I think it's also a great way for other people to learn more about what courses they that what courses interest them just so they can find a university that really caters to their needs and wants. Thank you. Uh, we have another question from Ex Ali Pena. Uh, what exactly made you choose UBC? So it was more of like um, a family decision with where I would study in terms of the place in general. So I was only allowed to go to Vancouver or in the Philippines. But given the opportunity of being a citizen in Canada, 
and with the access of resources that um, UBC has. Um, that's mainly one of the reasons why I decided to pursue my education at UBC because of its faculty and the resources that they have. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question is, where else did you apply to and did you know what field you're going to pursue already when you were applying? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I applied to universe two universities in Canada, mainly University of British Columbia and Simon Fraser University. And I applied to three universities in the Philippines, Ateneo, La Salle, and University of the Philippines. And I had a glimpse and I knew what I wanted to pursue in university, but I wasn't keeping my doors closed. I was very much um, open to the fact that these might change. So I tried to get a program that was very diverse and I'm very much contented with where I am now. Thank you so much for your response. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just send them in a Q and A or send them to us via chat. Okay, we have uh some someone asked in the chat, do you have advice for people who are still undecided about what they want to do or where they want to go for college? I feel like one advice I could give to students is to choose a program that is more diverse and you can just switch out when you're at university. I feel like the year of exploration that UBC has enables its students to really find what interests them by taking courses that count as general electives. So if you're unsure and if you're uncertain about classes, uh, deciding on your specialization or your major, it's, I find it really helpful to take classes that pique your interest. Because for me, in my first year at university, I was taking courses that count towards general electives, such as um, business courses, family studies, and the likes of that. Okay. Uh, someone else asked, how is the housing situation in UBC? So first year students are get uh, first year students have priority housing at UBC, um, but the years to come a need for you to apply for that. The housing community at U the housing um, situation at UBC is something I'm not that familiar with, but it is starting to feel a bit congested. But there are new developments on the rise coming, so that's also a big help for its students. Okay. Um, okay, someone else asked in the chat, how generous is UBC with financial aid for international students? UBC has a lot of scholarships that they give to students. You also could have an enrollment services advisor that can set you up with that and really create a financial plan and understand your costs and discuss a variety of support options if you need them along the way. Okay. Uh, next question, someone else uh, messaged me, uh, why pick UBC out of all the Canada universities? Um, it was my preference to apply to universities only in Vancouver. So I chose UBC because we had family who graduated from UBC. So I was very much comfortable being a graduate at UBC or a student at UBC and because of its resources of an esteemed faculty and it being one of the top universities in the world, I know that I would be able to enjoy my university experience through using the variety of resources that they have and that the education that I would receive is something that's holistic and something that I would very much enjoy. Okay, thank you. Okay, once again, guys, if you have any additional questions, just send up in the Q&A or in the chat box. But right now, I don't think anyone's sending additional questions. So uh, we'll just wrap up the session here. But if you have any more questions for Mixed D uh, later on, just accomplish our post-conference form, which I sent in the chat box.